Hi everyone, I recently have a question on how to filter a list lookup, or two lists lookup essentially. So if you had a list lookup, the first one, and if you selected something from the first one, it would not be available in the second one. Now that is something that's not available in Nintex Forms for Office 365. However, you could use Nintex Workflow Cloud with the data lookup control. Now if you're not familiar with data lookup control and, and data sources, have a look at some of my other videos on that topic. Um, so we're just going to just jump straight in. We're going to say, I've got a data lookup control. I'm going to say um, primary project manager. And I'm going to click uh, my, my data source. So I've got a data source previous from previous videos. I'm going to say uh, project sites, which is a list of projects in Office 365. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to say my option label is project manager and my option value is project manager. So when I come through to here, we can see a list of fictitious project managers from my Office 365 site. Now, when I select Quinton Scroggs, I actually want to have, let's say, a secondary project manager, and they can't select uh, Quinton Scroggs. So I'm going to duplicate that control, and we'll call this my secondary project manager. And let's come through to here. So Quinton Scroggs and Quinton Scroggs. Don't want that. How do we get around that? Well. We go to the second one, we go to the data, uh, data source configuration, we add a condition. We say when the project manager does not equal uh, the form controls of the primary. So, so just grab me anything from that SharePoint list that doesn't equal what I've selected in the first one. So we go ahead and save that condition and we go to preview. And so now we've got Quinton Scroggs, Quinton Scroggs, it's hard to say. And you'll see that what that's, that's doing is now firing off that query again and saying, well, okay, I need to get a different data set. And now Quinton Scroggs is not available. So we are going to select Vita Piva. And so Vita Piva is now ready to go. Quinton Scroggs is there. And then you go, actually, do you know what? I need Vita to be the primary. So I select Vita P uh, Piva. And what's happening is the primary is always the main one. It's dictating down to the secondary secondary so this one's once i've made a change was in the secondary the second one gets cleared and the primary then takes takes vita and now you see quinton scroggs is now available so that's that's pretty simple so you might say well it, it's a bit weird how this doesn't have anything in it well let's go back to designer preview someone might jump in here and go well, why is there no data provided yet well it's because you haven't Put a filtering condition on the first one yet and that's why you can't have filtering conditions on both of them because then they'll both say no, no data provided so what we do is i have the master one here and then so the secondary one no data provided so someone might say well why why is no data provided well what i would do is i just make it really simple and i'd say something like um disable uh secondary project manager and so I say, if primary project manager is not selected, then secondary project manager read only is true, else secondary project manager read only is false. So then we come back to here. So once they've actually not made a selection, they can't you know, see that there's no options available. It means you've always got to have a primary before you have a secondary. So I'll go ahead and select Quinton Scroggs, and then now we can select um, uh, Vita Piva. Now, if someone goes ahead and clears that, the secondary one also gets cleared. So I guess that's the benefit of the uh, data lookup control. It's got a few more uh, extra filters in the data set that you can get. So if you're considering uh, doing something like this, certainly uh, consider uh, in the conditions, where was it? The conditions are very helpful in Nintex Workflow Cloud. So I hope that's helpful to you. Let me know in the comments. Cheers.